My name is Kareli Avila and I am a Senior Communications Coordinator with Charlotte FC. So I was a fan before I became an employee. I went to every single match. I was a season ticket holder. I was just a huge fan. Uh, and like I said, I, I started my career in communications. I have a huge passion for storytelling and connecting with people and relationship building. And when Charlotte SC came, the opportunity to connect my passion for storytelling and my cultural tie made me super pumped about this role. And one thing led to another, and here I am now a couple months later and, and loving every minute of it. So finding my way into sports was a little challenging, not necessarily in the sense of, okay, what opportunity can I look for, but more so on, do I feel like I'm the right fit for this position? I didn't know anyone else who looked like me, who had the same background as me in the industry. I got to know some incredible people like Taylor Banner and Denny and Nat and Tara who lead different departments and Charlotte FC. And I think that once I was able to see, okay, there are other people that look like me I and mean, there are other people that, okay, have maybe non-traditional backgrounds going into sports. It's not abnormal and, and I could definitely do the job and do it well. I was born in Mexico, but I was raised in the US. And I remember just growing up feeling a little out of place everywhere that I was at. I grew up in the suburbs of Georgia. Not very many people look like me. The one thing that I do remember being so closely tied to my culture and my background was soccer. Being a Latina in sports, that cultural piece has helped me a lot with connecting people. I think it's helped me a lot connecting with our players. I do work with all of our Spanish speaking players. So that natural tie of like that cultura, what, what, foods we eat, the, the dance, the, the family aspect, I think that piece has helped me help, like, really connect with all the players. As I meet other women that are Latinas who wanna be in sports, I, I love being able to share with them like, hey, this is an asset for you. This is something that will actually help you succeed really well and to lean into that um, as you try to pursue your own career. I mentioned I work with a lot of really strong women in different departments here at Charlotte FC and that's across photo photography, that's across video, that's across marketing, that's across just a tons of other places. I mean, all the way up to the VP and, and our CCO. And I think being able to connect with other people at different stages of their career and who do different, different things. There's so much growth that can happen when you have people in your corner and who believe in you. And I truly believe that all of the women that I've encountered at the club are all those people that, that do believe in me and, and can really advocate for me uh, because of my hard work, but also because they know what it's like to be a woman in the sports industry. I think it's important to celebrate women and girls in sports because representation does matter on all different levels. I think being able to see people who look like you have previous experiences as you who are also immigrants who come from traditional sporting backgrounds, being able to do certain jobs in certain industries uh, can be motivating and can also really change people's lives and the directions that they're able to go. I believe sport is more than just the actual game. It has the ability to connect people from all different backgrounds and all different walks of life and experiences. Being able to see that representation in all different avenues is something that's life-changing too. I think one piece of advice that I would give a woman or a girl looking to break into the industry is to do it and then if you're scared to do it scared. There are so many moments where I feel like okay I don't really know if I'm supposed to be here or if this is the right call or if I should push back here and it's not because of the people I'm around with but it's because I'm just scared that my voice isn't the right voice to be saying those things because of what society has historically inflicted so I think being able to lean on that and use that as a strength and, and just to do it. Um, if you see an opportunity, do it. If you're scared, just do it scared. The worst that'll happen is that it doesn't work out and that's a learning opportunity. And the best that'll happen is that it will work out and all these other things will come from it. So that would be my biggest advice is to do it. And if you're scared, do it scared.